fight is done. We lost. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for this teaser trailer for a long time. Obi-Wan Kenobi finally is back on the screen, played by Ewan McGregor. Oh my god, it's gonna be so awesome. I, it looks awesome. Already, it just looks better. It looks better than Book of Boa Fett. Book of Boa Fett, I'm sorry guys, I if there's fans out there who were really into Book of Boa Fett. I wasn't. It just wasn't for me. I thought it was kind of lackluster. I'm sorry. The Mandalorian was a good show. That one I will give uh, some points, some credits to. But Book of Boa Fett, mm -mm, very lackluster. This show needs to work. For a lot of fans who were disappointed by the Book of Boa Fett series, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series has to work to regain those fans back. So Obi-Wan Kenobi, please don't fail me now. How does Princess Leia say it? Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it looks awesome. I love, I love everything I saw. It's going to be awesome. This is going to be amazing. And I think what I also like about this, it's, it's at the height of the Sith Empire. So, you know, Palpatine is still in charge. We heard Darth Vader at the very end of the teaser. So we know he's going to be popping up. And it has been confirmed that Hayden Christensen, the actor who played uh, Anakin Skywalker, um, as well as when he turned into Darth Vader, will be reprising his role. We saw Uncle Owen. He's the one who raises Luke Skywalker. And we see little Luke Skywalker Right? Obi-Wan Kenobi's like keeping a watchful eye on him. So I like that little tease. Uh, I wonder if they'll also be showing a young Princess Leia. I don't know. Maybe season two of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Who knows? But I like that they're nodding that. And um, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi spends most of his time in hiding on Tatooine. But it seems to me like they there will be some episodes where he goes off world. I hope so because... In Book of Boba Fett, most of the time they were on, they were on Tatooine. Even Mandalorian, they're mostly on Tatooine. Almost every Star Wars genre is on Tatooine. It's like, can we look at other planets other than Tatooine? So I'm cool if they start on Tatooine. Obviously, because that's where Obi-Wan Kenobi's hiding out. And that's where Uncle Owen is raising Luke. But I would like to see other things happen too. Especially what's going on with the Empire in between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. I want to see what evil things the Empire is doing. So this is going to be exciting. I love what I saw. This is going to be amazing. Oh, okay, I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Because like I said, Book of Boba Fett was lackluster. Some people are probably really looking forward to that show and were very disappointed. So let me keep my expectations kind of like reasonable. But I like what I saw. That's all I'm going to say. I really liked what I saw and I can't wait. 
other than that, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about the trailer. Are you guys excited for this show? I know Obi-Wan Kenobi has been a really high demand uh, character in Star Wars to get his own spinoff and it's finally here. So are you guys looking forward to it? Or are you guys like, nah, after the whole lackluster of Book of Boba Fett, you're like, nah, I'm done with Star Wars. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel. Like and subscribe. And as always, take care, guys. Bye.